Some critics are calling it the most important film of the century with a star-studded cast. I spent time with one Chattanooga man playing a special role behind the scenes. It was just a whole different beast when it comes to um, movie projection. Meet Chattanooga native Charlie Moss, a former chief projectionist for the Tennessee Aquarium, called up to Hollywood's big screen. I got the call because um, not a lot of people know how to actually like thread film anymore. You know, it was exciting and a bit nerve wracking because I haven't done it in so long. Having been out of the business for 17 years, Moss had to relearn the ropes for a new job, taking the film world by storm. This is a matter of life and death. This was all built just for Oppenheimer. There's so much positive buzz about it. And we've had, like here at the Chinese Theater, we've had like, uh, we had shows yesterday and they were all packed. The film follows the story of Julius Robert Oppenheimer, a physicist responsible for the development of the atomic bomb. Four. A giant figure in the Manhattan Project, the undertaking that would produce the world's first nuclear weapons. There's some, literally some explosive scenes in that movie. And when I'm in this booth, the theater shapes. A projection booth where Moss spends hours on end. Do you say you stay in that room for 10 hours a day? Yes. Do you sometimes feel like you're going crazy in there? <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Yeah. But it's all worth it to Charlie to be a part of what he calls a lost art. These are the big reels. Like this is Oppenheimer right here. 11 miles of film. 11 miles of film weighing 600 pounds. So there's 19 theaters in the U.S. I think there's close to 30 worldwide doing the IMAX 70 millimeter like film prints. So what is the difference between 70 millimeter film and digital? From what I've been told, Chris Nolan, when he printed the film, he printed directly off the negatives from the IMAX cameras. That just creates a... Uh, a much sharper image for moviegoers. You know, you'd have to see it to like kind of believe like everything that goes behind it. <laughs> 